Okay, geometry fans, our topic for today is area of triangles and quadrilaterals. Okay, so for our objectives after this lesson, students should be able to calculate the area of triangles and quadrilaterals. All right, so before we start, let me tell you your joke of the day. This one's a little bit longer, so you'll have to bear with me. A juggler, a tightrope walker, and a clown were lost in the jungle. When all of a sudden, a lion came out of nowhere and bam, ate the juggler and the tightrope walker. Why didn't the lion eat the clown? And the answer is, because it thought the clown would taste funny. All right, so here we go. Let's start with rectangles. Um, the formula area is base times height. So when we draw a rectangle here, the base would be the bottom and the height would be the top. You know that a rectangle has four right angles. Now, you may have seen this formula as length times width. When you were younger, you probably talked about length and width. But B, we're going to use base and height. And the reason we're going to use that is because base and height, B and H, are going to come up in more than one formula. So it's easier if we just keep the same letters. Now, the most important idea is that a base and a height have to be perpendicular. Okay. So number one, example number one, find the area of the figure. Now, the first thing we have to do here, and I forgot to put this in, but we're going to assume that all of these are right angles, okay? Now, this is not a rectangle, but the question is, could we somehow divide this shape into rectangles? Now, there's a lot of ways to do this, but I'm going to divide it like this. So I'm going to create a rectangle on the left, and a rectangle on the right. Now area is base times height. So the area of this one, the base and the height would be 12 and 18. So 12 times 18, and you're going to use a lot of calculator on these problems. Okay, so 12 times 18 equals 216. Okay, so that area is 216. I'm going to call that area 1. I'm going to put a little 1 there. Here's A1. Here's A2. Now, to find the second area, now this is going to be a little bit different here. We need the base and we need the height. Now, let's see. We know this whole thing is 24. And this top piece right here, this is a rectangle you know that opposite sides are congruent. So if this is 12 at the bottom, then this is 12 here. And if the whole thing is 24, then this is also 12. Now it just so happens that this line that I drew bisects this side, that's not always the case. Okay, so you can't always assume that. So that's 12. Now the question is, what's the height right here? Well, we already know that this whole thing is 18. Because the left side is 18, opposite sides of a rectangle would be congruent. So that's 18. Now this piece here, this little piece here was 8. So to find what, what's left, we take 18 minus 8 and we get 10. So 10 would be my height. So the area here, area is base times height. The base is 12. The height is 10 and the area is 120. Now we want the area of the figure. That's the whole thing. So what we'll do is we'll take area 1 plus area 2. So that's 216 plus 120. So the area of the figure is 336. Let's say that this was centimeters. All right, we'll just assume that that's the unit of measurement. Our answer, when you find area, area is two-dimensional, it's 336 centimeters squared. It's the unit of measurement squared. It's not 336 squared. It's going to be 336 centimeters squared. And while we're on this topic here, let's also just mention area. The idea of area is the amount of covering. Area is the amount of covering. So if you cover up an object and you're asking yourself how much material to cover the object, that's area. 
and area is always two-dimensional. That's why it's centimeters squared. All right, so let's try number two. Find the area of the square if its perimeter is 52. Now, a square is a rectangle. It's a special rectangle where all the sides are the same. We know that all the angles are 90. So the base and the height, well, they're going to be the same value because it's a square. If the perimeter is 52, now that's the total distance around. So to find one side, let's divide that by 4. We have 4 equal distances, which are 13. Okay, so now we can label the square. Here's your base. Here's your height. Area is base times height, 13 times 13. So area is 169, and that's centimeters squared. So base times height. All right, number three, find the area of the rectangle. Well, they gave us a diagonal in here. It's 26. They gave us the base is 24. But unfortunately, we do not know the height. We're missing that. But they also tell us it's a rectangle. And in a rectangle, you know that you have right angles. So actually, this is a right triangle. And when you have a right triangle, one thing to always think about, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, Pythagorean theorem. In this case, the c is the hypotenuse, which would be the 26. So when we set this up, I'm going to say h squared plus 24 squared. Those are the legs equals the diagonal the hypotenuse 26 squared. All right, so we get h squared plus 24 times 24, 576. 26 times 26 is 676. Let's subtract the 576 from both sides. So we get h squared equals 100. Now to solve that, we need to take the square root of both sides. To undo a square, we square root. We get h equals 10. Now that's great, and I can put this in the picture, but we're not done. They want us to find the area of the rectangle. Area is base times height. In this case, that's 24 times 10. So the area is 240, and the unit of measurement is inches squared. Area is units of measurement squared. So that's a rectangle. A rectangle is base times height. Okay, now let's talk about a triangle. A triangle is one half base times height. Now, on the side here, you don't need to write this, but let me just explain. A rectangle is base times height, but if I draw a diagonal, I just split this rectangle into two congruent triangles. Now, since the triangles are congruent, and I know that by side, 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 if the triangles are congruent, then their areas have to be the same. So, since there's two of them, each of them would be half the area of the, tri of the rectangle, which is one-half base times height. So, the formula for area of a triangle, one-half times the base times the height. Now, in any kind of triangle, here's the base. The height is the altitude, which we can draw down here. There's my height. Now, base and height are perpendicular, so a lot of times you'll have to drop down this altitude for the height of the triangle. All right, so for example, in number four, find the area of the figure. Uh, the base is 14. The height is 7. They give us both pieces of information, so area is 1 half. I'm going to put two sets of parentheses here. The base is 14. The height is 7, and now we calculate this. Now you can type this on the calculator, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to say half of 14 is 7, and then 7 times 7 is 49, and that's feet squared. So the area is 49 square feet.
for that triangle. Now, number five, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little bit sick here. Find the area. Uh, let's see, we need a base, we need a height. Okay, one half times base times height. The base is eight. The height, unfortunately, we don't have yet. How can we find it? Well, it's a right triangle. Let's do Pythagorean theorem. <clears throat> and in this case, we don't need to draw another altitude because if it's a right triangle, the base and the height are perpendicular. That's what it means to be a height. So we've already got the right angle. We don't need to draw anything else. All right, so let's do Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's my hypotenuse opposite 90. H squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. So that's 64 and 100. Now to solve it, I need to subtract 64 from both sides. So we get H squared is 36. Now the last step to undo a square, you got to square root it. We get H equals 6. Now that's the height. We're not done. They said find the area. So let me go back to my picture here. One way that you can help, that'll help you in terms of remembering these formulas, every time you use it, write it down. Area is one half base times height. So now we'll substitute the B is eight. The height H is six. And we do half times eight times six. I'll use the calculator this time. You can type it all at once. I'm going to put the one-half in parentheses, so one-half times eight times six, and the answer we get is 24. So that's 24, uh, and they didn't give us a unit of measurement here, so we could just say 24 units squared. 24 units squared. Okay, so that's number five. In a lot of these problems, they're not going to give you all the information. They're going to make you find something first. So that's why if it's a triangle, you got to know what the formula is. What do I need? A base and I need a height. If I don't have one, I've got to get one. All right, so let's do six here. Find the area. Now this is equilateral, eight, eight, eight. Area is one half base times height. Now right away, We've got the base. The base is 8. But what we're missing is the height. And these 8s are not heights because they're not perpendicular. Let's drop in altitude. Here's my height. And as soon as I do that, I just created a right triangle. Actually, I created two right triangles because I also created this one on the left. Now, when you draw an altitude and it's a isosceles or equilateral triangle, it's going to bisect the base. So this is 4, this is 4. How can I find the height? Hey, we got a right triangle. Let's do Pythagorean theorem. So we've got A, B, 8 is going to be the C. Okay, so we'll get H squared plus 4 squared equals 8 squared. All right, now what you should be doing as you watch this video you should work this out on your own. Okay, so go ahead, just stop it or pause it for a moment. Go ahead and work it out and then unpause it and see if we get the same answer. Um, I'm going to skip a few steps here and just tell you. Your h squared is going to be 48. And then when you take the square root, you're going to get a decimal out of this. The square root of 48 is 6.928. And I'm going to round that to six point, you could say 6.9, I'm going to say 6.93, just to be a little more accurate. Now that's my H, so that's what I'm going to put, now I go back to the formula, 6.93, and again, it's a calculator problem, so we've got one half times eight times 6.93, enter, and we get 27.72, 27.72 units squared, and that is the end of part one.